family of drunk driving victim Sarah Root has filed a formal complaint against a Douglas County judge. Prosecutors accuse Eswin Mejia in the country illegally of crashing into Root's SUV in South Omaha, killing her. The Roots believe Judge Marcuso set Mejia's bond way too low, allowing him to get out of jail and go on the run. Reporter Shante Passmore spoke with the family. At the state capitol, the Root family's hope for justice was contained in several boxes. Inside, they say, were roughly 5,000 signatures supporting the removal of Marcuso. Sarah Root, killed at 21 years old, will always be Michelle and Scott's baby. For these parents, justice for Sarah and Sarah Strong aren't catchy phrases. We're going to keep trucking. That was our baby girl, and she deserves justice, and she's going to get it. In their hearts, they say a wrong has to be corrected. 11 weeks, 12 weeks after Sarah was killed, another illegal immigrant, drunk driving, hits and kills somebody walking. Same judge gets a higher bond. Well, again, I wish they would have done that in Sarah's case. They did not. For months, the outspoken family has collected signatures, asking people to support their efforts in understanding what they refer to as failures at the local, state, and federal levels, beginning with Marcuso. Uh, the next gentleman that killed somebody, he got a $2 million bond, you know, and then the next guy got a $500,000 bond. Really? Somebody made a mistake. Now they're trying to overcompensate. Prior to their trip to the state capitol, the family sent petitions to the Judicial Qualifications Commission. With tension running high, the family questioned what was done with them. There were several that came in with no information on them that were sent back to individuals. Okay. I can't accept incomplete forms. When it comes to the idea of fighting for the removal of Marcuso, the Root families say they've heard people tell them their efforts are in vain. If those people have children or a loved one who died, uh, be in our shoes. Do that. We're, we're not going to sit here and do nothing. Now with the complaint filed, neither the Root family nor Marcuso are allowed to publicly speak about the matter. Regardless of whether the complaint moves forward, the Root family tells me they won't keep quiet about their daughter's death. In the studio, Shante Passmore, KMTV Action 3 News. We dug deeper and uncovered this is not the first time Judge Marcuso's actions have been called into question. In 2009, Jeff Marcuso entered a consent to reprimand after the Nebraska Commission of Judicial Qualifications found he violated conduct on three occasions. Legal authorities suspended Marcuso for three months without pay. One of the incidents involved getting a lighter sentence for his nephew.